In this video I'll be demonstrating the measurement tools and give a couple of examples on how to use these tools to fix problems in my Revit project. To access Fuser's measurement tools, go to Tool Controls and the first tab is Measurement Tools. We have a variety of different tools to use and I'll show each one of those. Measure two points works just like it says. Click once, click twice, and it measures the distance between. We have a perimeter measure tool. And you see they have two separate colored values. The white values are the distance between the two points, and the red value is the total distance at the perimeter. The area measure tool works similarly to the perimeter measure measurement tool and the red value is the area inside the specific points. Now, Right now we have it set for unit of measurement as imperial. You can change that to metric depending upon what you're working with in your Revit project. And the last tool we have is the perpendicular measure tool and this is the one that I'm going to use to demonstrate how I'm going to fix certain areas of my Revit project. So as I click on this, the way this works and we'll just move right over here, is I click on my patio deck here, which is a horizontal surface, and it's going to shoot a vertical line straight up, and it hits our ceiling right here. Now this is a sloped ceiling. I'll switch back to Imperial. This is a sloped ceiling, so as I drag on the bottom here, click and drag, see that value changes. And I see I have this fan here that's kind of floating in midair and I want to fix that and I'm going to use my measurement tool to see just how far away from the ceiling I'm at. So I have it aligned here with the structural column. Go back to my measurement tools and I'll click right back here and that looks about right and we see if it's 15 feet 7 inches is what my measurement says. So I'm going to take that value back into my Revit model. And now that we have our fan selected, I'm just going to change the offset here. So 11 feet, 10 and a quarter inch, and I'm going to change that to what my measurement tool said, 15 feet, 7 inches. And we see that our fan has moved up and I'll check to make sure it looks good and that looks about right. So now we're going to go over here and we have our topography meeting up with our building pad and as I kind of pan over I notice that some of our rocks are floating in the air. And I'm going to use that same measurement tool and I'm just going to drag underneath the rocks to see the various distances between the rocks and my topography. And I can take these values back into my Revit file that has the topography and make the necessary changes. And that's how we use our measurement tools.